Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning, 7 o'clock. And I've already walked my three miles on the treadmill. Thank you very much. Right. Yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff done, too. Yeah, but after he slept in a little bit. I was going to show you guys. Yes, yeah, only till 6. See the sand hill cranes. Zoom them in here. <laughs> All of a sudden, I hear Bob saying, What did you say? I can't remember. I don't mind if you walk over there. It's the auto money garden. Yeah. <laughs> he was giving them the what for from in here. So, um, oh man. I had to pick up a cherry pit that somehow landed on the floor. We're having coffee and cherries this morning no. for the moment. I'm going to make him some eggs in a little bit, but. I just want to show you guys the cranes. And look at Bobby in his nice all dooted up outfit. Hey, they can't see you if you're... <laughs> well, you shouldn't film me spitting cherries into the garbage. <laughs> well, I didn't know that's what you were going to do. <laughs> oh, it's rough. It's hard to get good help. These <laughs> oh, boy. Um, anyway, my point was you look nice, honey. I have to dress up a little extra special today. I have to read oh, yes. the liturgist in church the liturgist. today. There's, what is, there's oh. his papers. It, I'll um, say a prayer for all of yours. There you go. I'll say a you. prayer for everybody. We do regularly. Um, <coughs> it's hot in our church. The air doesn't seem to kick on until halfway through service. It's actually kind of warm in our home right now. I'm kind of sweating. Well, me too, but I just saw the treadmill for an hour. I've been moving around here pretty looks. Not really. 50, no. 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Time is it? 7 o'clock? Oh yeah, I've been up for an hour already working, so... <laughs> I took a shower already, too. Anything else? Coffee's pretty good. <laughs> so, so far you've gotten up, wandered around, and took a shower. I stripped the bed. Oh, that's right. Put your bed laundry. <laughs> Got the garbage all collected. Um, pulled some leftovers out. I put my fruit in the fridge. Pulled some leftovers out of the fridge to there take for go. my lunch for work tomorrow, just to clean some of the stuff out of the fridge because it was a little getting a little over full. Because we've got vegetables coming out our keister. Yeah. So, uh, what else did I do? Oh, hold on. You think about that. That basil. I ended up um, <laughs> asking Laura what to do with it. So I wrapped it up in paper towel. She said to wrap it up in paper towel, put it in a plastic bag, take all the air out, and stick it in there. So um, part of my chores. Yeah, like we do with the lettuce and the spinach. Yeah, that's what I do. Only I don't take the air out of the lettuce and the spinach. Um, by the way, if you guys have seen me do that, maybe you, I don't even know if I've had that on. But when we pick the lettuce from the garden, I wash it, put it in a salad spinner, and then I lay it out on paper toweling and roll it up in the paper toweling. And then I put that roll like in. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, go explain, show. I don't explain, I show you. Um, and so I put that in just a bag like this. This is the basil that I took the air out of. And that has kept that lettuce crisp and like brand new for, what, two weeks? Yeah. At least two weeks. So that's I that's put my new spinner was. baits in my trout vest this morning, too. Your, your new springer what? Spinner baits. Oh, your well, spinner baits. I went to the wheat farm yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, Look the way he's standing like he's all that. I went to the weed farm because I needed some roundup of the weeds around the garage, just in the cracks and like this, this driveway and stuff. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get them taken care of. I bought some little spinner baits for trout fishing and I put them in my vest this morning. Oh, nice. I so, just thought I'd tell everyone. Right. So after church, um, he's going to an auction and then fishing and then. Well, or one. One of the. He's the one and or. Going, well, that's all I'm going to do today. There you go. My only day off. So, right. right. I'm going to work after church because I have, we're putting in some new software and I need to finish my testing. Um, and, oops, I forgot the coffee. And then I'm going to run out to Stephen's farm. So maybe I'll, I will try to remember. I see, I don't see him very often, even though he's up here a lot. He's up here to work on the farm, you know, so I don't see him very often. So when I do see him, I always forget to pull out the camera. But I'll try to get some footage maybe of the, the house. They had gables put on the house and that sort of thing. Let's see if it's high in this house. It's not. Uh, uh, so that is what's going on. And then 
after that, I'm going to come back here and I have to do my laundry. And my normal, here, we'll sit in here. My normal Sunday things. And that's about it. I have to wash my brushes today. I have to make pesto today. I'll try to vlog that. For the, I, I can't talk. It's the first time I'm making pesto, so I'm going to use Laura's recipe from her website. Um, and then she suggested, because I have all that basil, you know, she suggested to me a couple weeks back that if you make pesto, put it in an ice cube tray, so I'm going to do that. And then you can freeze it. Of course, I'm going to have to measure it first, because I'm going to need to know how much fits it in, a, in my ice cube tray. So, yeah, all right. I'm going to put on some makeup, super light makeup, because it's supposed to be hot again today, and I just feel like light makeup, so I'll see you in a little bit. It is 8.25, and I have finished getting ready for the day. And... Um, started my laundry and all of a sudden I realized well wow it's eight o'clock we don't have to leave till it because we don't have choir we don't I don't have choir um, we didn't have to leave until well we still have 20 minutes left the point of this is I was able to film my Tuesday video I had had I had everything pulled already and um, I was like you know what let's do it so that's what I did and now my laptop went completely dead that's how I let the battery run completely down. So then I'm going to upload my footage once I get this to pull back up again. Switch my laundry around, and then we're head off to church. Okay, let me bring you up to speed. It's 1 o'clock. I forgot the camera at home. So thus, no footage of the farm. <laughs> uh, well, I, we, we drove separately, and I was just as I was about to walk out the door, the washer went off. And I was like, oh, I'll just quick switch that around. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't even close to late. I was still five minutes early for work, or for, not for work, for church. But um, I was just like, one more thing. And so what happened is I set down everything that was in my hands. And when I picked it back up again, I forgot to grab the camera. So I went to the farm. I went to work, went to the farm, went to Aldi to get some walnuts for the pesto and I had to get some lemons, and I wasn't sure how much olive oil I had, so I grabbed some of that too. I knew I had garlic olive oil, but I'm gonna put garlic in the pesto and I thought it might be too much. I do have some garlic oil, or I have some regular olive oil, but the other one I have is sun-dried tomato and I just didn't want to do that. Anyway, oh boy. I gotta show you guys something. Bob's gonna have to do something about that. We have these things that show up every once in a while and they put like netting around I don't know how to explain it like a web almost let me show you you can see what I'm talking about right there I don't know what that is but they cannot take over my lilac bushes I said that funny lilac bushes by the way do you guys remember when we got them and they were not even hanging down much at all aren't they pretty this is why I like is we get like this deck is full sun as you can tell it's torture on stain um we just redid the stain last year I don't know Bob obviously we we're not gonna do we're not gonna stain it every year we don't entertain all that much of it especially not it we entertain a ton in the winter but we don't in the summer um so we're not staining every year it was it was the decree that came forth um, and I have no problem with that. So, oh, I gotta grab my charger. I totally lost my train of thought, but now I am home and switching, you know, changing around laundry, pinned my bangs back. I'm about ready to put my hair up in a ponytail, too, because it's just hot. Even in the air conditioning, it seems hot. So, I'm gonna make the pesto. That's my next chore here. I have lots of chores to do today. Hopefully, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time, but hopefully, um, I'm going to I need to wash my brushes, but that's a normal chore. All right, sorry, I had to use both hands for a minute. And I'm making this pesto because I want to get that basil used before it goes bad. And what else? Oh, the cast iron, our, our plushie pie makers, and one of the cast iron pans just really need a good cleaning with the oil and the salt and a scrubby, not just with paper toweling like what we do when we're camping. So I need to do that. It's called seasoning the pans. Um, what's on my list? Brushes, pesto, cast iron. So that's what's on my list currently. I felt like I, I thought of something earlier today when I was in church, 
that I needed to do and I didn't have any place to write it down and now I forgot. That's why I make lists all the time. All right, so I'll give you a little play-by-play -play of the pesto. So it is two o'clock. This has been a lot of prep, let me tell you. Peeling up garlic, pulling all the leaves off of the things, toasting up walnuts, whatnot. And then um, getting the lemon zest and then squeezing the lemon, see the lemon juice, it's a lot of prep. But we'll see how much it ends up making. Anyway, <clears throat> um, so I have the nuts toasted in here, I have garlic in there, and I have the basil in there. And then I'm gonna put, this as the lemon juice. The first squeeze lemon juice. And then I'm supposed to put a little olive oil in there to get it started. Alrighty then, it's 2.40 and I am done. Um, I will show you. Steven is in town for a few days, so I have some saved here in a little container for him. And then I, that made, these are about a quarter of a cup. So there's five of those and this is about a half a cup. And I guess that's about a half of a cup as well. So, yeah, I'm going to freeze these and then um, Laura had suggested to put like a teaspoon of olive oil on the top of each one of those before you put them in the freezer. So, um, what did she say? She said to put a little olive oil on top of each one so it won't turn. I trust her, so I did it. By the way, I'm drinking iced tea from McDonald's. Not sweet tea. Does anybody else like McDonald's iced tea? Like just the plain iced tea. No sweetener in it, just a little bit of lemon. Mm. It's one of my favorite things of life. And I actually, if you just get like Lipton tea and like put it, you know, do you guys, have you ever made sun tea? My dad used to make that all the time when we were growing up. Just, um, you get a big container, huge, like he would have this huge glass container that looked like maybe it was one of those jumbo sized pickle containers, maybe back in the day. Anyway, he would put it outside on the deck with um, Lipton iced tea bags in it, I think maybe six iced tea bags in it, and then just let it sit and the sun would just turn it into tea. And it was so good, I used to drink that all the time growing up. I haven't made that in so long. But anyway, this reminds me of that. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so I'm going to get these in the freezer and then I have to switch around a load of laundry that beeped a really long time ago. And, and by the way, I'm wearing my, I washed, I literally, can use the word literally here, literally took this out of the dryer and put it on my body. <laughs> it's so cute. I really wanted to wear it. Um, all right. I'm going to, I'm going to get going here and try to be a little more productive. I have to get the roast in the crock pot for tomorrow. I have to wash my brushes and maybe or maybe not do the cast iron pans. I haven't decided. All right, it's quarter to four. Laundry's done. Made the bed. Pesto's all cleaned up and put away. I just finished these. Um, I cleaned up. These are the pudgy pie makers from when we go camping, and that's our cast iron pan for when, when we are. Uh, we keep it in the camper. And it really to be cleaned up. I just don't know. I think this is probably going to be the last year for this one. And then it's going to have to go. I mean, no, there's there's no amount of seasoning that can... We, we always leave it in the camper, and that's all right. We should have brought it in. We should bring it in, all the cast iron stuff every year, I think. <clears throat> it's always left in the camper. And I think just the changing of temperatures and condensation stuff in anyway. So, but I it looks way better than it did. I should have given you it before. So, the only thing that I have not done today, and I did it at a video in there somewhere. I think before I started the pesto, I edited my video that I shot this morning. Um... So, the only thing I've not done on my list so far... Oh, I have to get the roast ready. I'll do that right now, actually. And then wash my brushes. But I may put that off and do it one morning this week because um, my foot, the plantar fasciitis foot, is really hurting me. And I, I have been wearing shoes. I just took them off, actually. Um, so I've been trying to be careful about making sure I'm wearing shoes. But anyway. All right, I'm going to cut up vegetables for the roast, and then I think I'm going to sit down for the rest of the night <laughs> Whew, I'm a little bit tired. So <clears throat> I'm getting the roast ready and I was cutting up the carrots and I was just curious. So I'm using like real carrots, like from a carrot stick carrot. And I'm wondering if any of you have the same thing. I don't remember if I've ever vlogged about this before or not, but um, like baby carrots, they do have something to them. I'm convinced that they do. I don't know. I don't know this, but they have to do something to them in order t to make them I don't know. I, I don't know why they do something to them, but they do. I'm convinced of it because they taste different than real carrots. Not that they aren't real carrots, but 
I'm curious if any of you guys think the same way. So I would say a couple years ago now we switched away. I used to just open a bag of baby carrots and dump it in here. But I'm going to do some carrots for us for the week as well. And I, I just really prefer a real carrot now to those baby carrots. And I just, as I was cutting these up, I thought to myself, I wonder if anybody else <laughs> does that or is, you know, it feels the same way as I do about that. So anyway, um, I did hear from Bob a little bit ago. I meant, to, maybe I did tell you that. I can't even remember what I did and didn't vlog about. I don't know. He's trout fishing now. Apparently it ended up not being as hot as he thought. For me, it's pretty hot. I don't know what it is outside. It was 85 when I got home earlier today so heaven only knows what it's like out there but anyway so it's about 20 after 4 I'm gonna do this and I have decided to not wash my brushes today I'm gonna probably wash my face and then sit down I might read some of my book I might watch mindless TV I haven't decided all right it's about quarter to five I'm just finishing I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly before I forget this is what I use um, for our roasts this McCormick one. I like this one the best. But Bobby's home, and he has a haul from the auction. I did go to an auction, and actually I have a little story. I could have got this for free. What? Um, well, the auctioneer held it up, and I, I seen the, you know, the, it's only got the single tire on the front. It's a narrow front with just a little bicycle single tire. That's what they called this, and I mm -hmm. thought it was kind of neat. And it was 20 bucks, so I said, yeah, I'll take it. And the auctioneer says 468 takes one for 20. Well, my number was 466. Oh. So I could have got the tractor to 468 would have ended up paying the extra $20. I could have got it for free, but I was honest. I said, no, my number is 466. And I actually got a little applause from the crowd for being honest. Oh, good you. Good job, so, honey. So, yeah, that's all I got. I could have got a few more. I wish I, you know, now I'm kind of sure wishing I would have. Of course. This is a 1937 BN is the model on the tractor. So, for those of you that don't know, by the way, Bob collects toy tractors and... At some point, when we figure out a way to do it, we will show you <laughs> how it's just so dark in the basement, but we'll show you. So, but anyway, just in case. And they were all one thing too. I already my goal is when I started collecting tractors was to get one that every manufacturer ever made, mm -hmm. and I actually already have some John Deere stuff down there. So, and it was all pretty much all John Deere stuff there today. Sure. Um, but I I couldn't pass this up for twenty dollars. Yep. So nice, and these are, this is a steel, this is steel, not, you go to Fleet Fire and buy a tractor like this, it's going to probably cost you 50, and it's all plastic. Right. I mean, even the tires are still, are rubber, not plastic, so. Nice steel, honey. And there's my receipt. Sir. Excellent. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> he is going to go out and water the flowers. I am going to go wash my face and pull the last load of laundry that's been in the dryer for quite some time now. And um, I'll show you guys. And then I'm going to call it a night. So this is, I had to get the script the last little bit. That's what my roast looks like. I'll put it, I will pull it out tomorrow morning and um, it'll be done when I get home. That's what I love about crock pot cooking. <laughs> is that, yeah, I actually, I should have told you guys that. I, I dug out all the really kind of tiny ones, okay. scrubbed them up good and threw them in there, the baby reds that he had um, unearthed. And you don't want to wash them until you Right, I, I noticed that when I was editing the vlog. You guys will probably have seen that already. So, anyway, um, yeah, that, that's what I say. That's what I love about Crock-Pot, you know, putting something in the Crock-Pot is that I can get home, still hop on the treadmill, and um, you know, dinner's ready when I get off. I don't have to, like, hop on the treadmill, get out, take my shower, and then prepare dinner. You know what I'm saying? And then I, because I just stole one of Kristen's poles. To put them in for now, that's just. Or you wanted to show I them want that? To, well, yeah, you can come oh. over it. Like, well, no, Sorry, no. he was. I didn't know what he was saying. I no just lined it with newspaper and put the potatoes in there. That'll do for now, but really, mm -hmm. if you got a wooden crate, that's the best. Yeah. So I'm on the lookout. I didn't, there was not a And this will today. go to the basement because it's cooler, right? Right. Yeah. Because I'm, I would say within the next week to 10 days, I'll be digging all the potatoes. Oh, well, there you go. They can stay up here for now. So, yeah, so that is that, and with, and with that, I think I will end this vlog. I feel like I might have enough footage that this can be a vlog in and of itself. So, I hope you guys had a really great Sunday. I hope that you uh, relaxed a little bit more than I did. <laughs> How was fishing? Well, fishing was a waste of time. Oh, he went trout fishing after um, the auction. We but... did find a place. Um, it's a little pond. 
Mm -hmm. um, okay. I mean, it was a nice ride over to Wittenberg. Uh, we could take Benny's boat and launch it there. Yeah, but not uh, yours. No, no. Cause too it's, shallow. It's too, well, it's not. Yeah, that and the landing's not really that big. You know. Oh, okay. So we could take Benny's. He's just got a little older one. Um, so that might be something to do in the future. But yeah, I mean, at least we found out. There you go. For the most part, we go up north for trout fishing anyway. So, so that area was not good for trout, huh? Well, I'm not. I don't know if it's not. I mean, the guy that we talked to the other night when we went fishing showed us a picture of the trout that he caught. He said he caught them hmm. all in 45 minutes. So, hmm. well, so just uh, spend the day. Maybe just the day, and there wasn't nobody else fishing there either. So, all right. Well, so there you go. Um, I, have to, I need to get some more water in me. I've slacked a little bit on my water intake due to the. Um, very large iced tea. <laughs> so with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you had a great weekend and we will see you in the next one. Bye.